Hello viewers, welcome to Tips and Tricks with Hassan YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to track any activity of your Gmail account and how to secure your account. I will show you step by step few more important security settings as well in our Gmail account. So, if you follow this step by step, you can save your Gmail account from unauthorized access into our gmail account right so just now as you can see i have logged in in my email so this is my mailbox so the first thing that we have to go on the top tops at the top yes look at this google account right so we have to click on this once we go this now as you can see this is my google account home page i will explain one by one first thing we will talk about manage your data and personalization right once we go in you can see all of those options here so i want to talk about this activity and timeline so once we click on this activity and timeline we can see as you can see rediscover the things you have searched for read and watched all those activities you can see from here let's say my gmail id or my phone someone else used or my children used after this i can find out whatever they search for right so <clears throat> now the first thing as you can see whatever i have searched on google play store play.google.com youtube what are the things i have watched all this information is here right and when exactly what time youtube right and using what type of device all those information is there right time again what time september 17 2020 you have i have gone through with all this activity so you can see web and app activity i have to turn on so i have on it before youtube history everything so that's why i can see everything there right basic information if you go for basic information all the basic information will be here so timeline you can track your location where is your location and you can search your location history as well from here so the person that used your phone you the person did turn on the location so you can track from here you can manage your google drive from here as well change the language input tools accessibility business personalization there are a lot of things you can do from here so location history i posted as you can see next option is security so secure your account so how to secure your account so now as you can see here is the list of the devices that i have previously signed in using this gmail account all right so i have uses all those devices like my iphone my g011a which is my iphone i have signed out s8 plus and then new sign in on windows what time when 7th of january 2021 i have just few days earlier i have did all this so now another option as you can see on 7th january 2021 new sign in on go11a recognized so what does that recognized mean right let's have a look i have already replied that that i recognize this device all right if i did it accidentally i can still secure my account if i click on no secure account the gmail will ask me to change my my gmail password immediately if i know that device yes i am the one that have logged in using that device i can click on this yes it was me so thanks for confirming it was you because i know i just confirmed it that was me right so similar like this if any device that is looks unfamiliar to you 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 can go and click on this and you can sign out from all of those devices so now signing in um, to google use your phone to sign in 
right so we will talk about this option you can secure your account this way so how how this is going to work this is going to work like this right where once you have uh, tried to log in from somewhere or any other device unfamiliar device gmail will send a notification in your gmail app of your smartphone One, you have to click open your gmail app from your handphone and you have to click yes right so once you click yes then only you will be able to go in so i have already approved as you can see from my iphone so that's the way it's works but remember your phone must be there if you don't have that phone you will not be able to sign in into that gmail account without your handphone all right also you can add another recovery phone so if you if you add your recovery phone so through this recovery phone you can reset your password in case you forget your password you can reset your password at this recovery phone remember your phone number must be valid and must be active during this process when you try to reset your password and gmail will send you a code so in this code you have to input on your gmail while you log in so remember this and this is how you can keep your account secured all right so please if you guys like this video thumbs up on this video comment on the video if you have any confusion and share it with your friends or family if you think they might need to know about all this you can share it to them and please subscribe the channel i will bring some more new new videos regularly thank you for watching the video see you